This is the Iowa Weather Report for Tuesday, April 15th, 2014. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at 1 p.m. this afternoon. You see that trough moving through the middle part of the country over the Great Lakes into the deep south. That's taking that storm system across the eastern seaboard, bringing some rain showers and a little bit of snow in the eastern Great Lakes. Around here, it's going to be sunny, it's going to be cold, highs in the 40s and lower to middle 50s across the state with plenty of sunshine around after morning lows, likely in the 20s with a very hard freeze. You're going to see Wednesday, disturbance comes in, could kick off a shower in our northern third of the state, mainly north of Highway 20. Highs will be in the low 50s north to low to mid 60s south. The front comes through Thursday, but it comes through mainly dry now, unlike yesterday. This will drop readings mainly into the upper 40s to th through the 50s across the state. But then you see it comes back northward or northeastward, so we could see some precipitation, but even that doesn't look as impressive as it did yesterday. Readings could still be in the 40s and 50s, maybe some mixed precipitation Friday morning. Saturday looks to be sunny with increasing clouds from the west as you can see a system coming in from the west. Highs in the 50s to some 60s across the state. And then Saturday night into Sunday. Sunday looks to be fairly wet with rain showers around, maybe some clouds. Highs in the 50s and 60s depending on the amount of cloudiness and the amount of rainfall. Going into next week on Monday. Yeah, that system is away. We have pretty much seasonal weather. Highs in the upper 50s to maybe some low 70s if this is right with any precipitation off to our south and a system off to our west as you can see here at next Tuesday. Big trough digging in across California and Nevada. Ridge over the center part of the country and that means within a week we could really feel nice and warm. Highs will be likely into the 60s, 70s, maybe we can see 80 again by this point with the winds coming out of the south as the storm system off to our west begins to take shape. As we go into the extended period on April the 26th, we have a system moving through Minnesota and Wisconsin that's going to bring a system through our neck of the woods and a ridge between that and another storm crashing into California and the west coast once again. And with that, we have the one system moving just to the east of the state, taking showers and maybe a thunderstorms with it. Another storm coming into the west that could bring some showers and thunderstorms there. Maybe some high elevation snow in the Sierras. The end of the forecast, April 30th, we have a system moving through southern Canada and a ridge over the Ohio River Valley and the Ohio and Tennessee River Valley in the deep south. A southwesterly flow aloft could keep winds out of the southwest and then temperatures warm likely into the 70s by this point with maybe a shower around but no real significant systems and no real trends at this point satellite image from last evening we had the system moving eastward across the eastern great lakes the ohio and tennessee river valley down to the gulf coast with some showers and thunderstorms and the next system coming into the pacific northwest the watch warning map from last evening some flash Flood watches across Alabama, Georgia, and the Florida Panhandle, also across New England. Lots of freeze and hard freeze warnings and advisories and a winter storm watch to our north and a winter weather advisory in Montana. KPF chart. Precipitation over the next five days through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. Showing the heaviest precipitation right along the Gulf Coast and up the eastern seaboard. Around here, maybe up to a tenth or two of an inch. And that's mainly in the next system.